107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. Born to a preacher who was no good, this soapalicious diva was never understood. Hated by her cast, but loved by her fans who stomped their feet. What clapped their hands? Extra, extra, read it and weep. As I was maturing as a man, um, I, I got to admit, there were a few ladies on television that caught my eye. One of those ladies are is with us tonight, and she is uh, dynamic in many ways. Philanthropist, mom, author, actress. You have seen and watched her for years on The Young and the Restless, and uh, she is one sexy, beautiful lady. Sexy. <laughs> it is nice to welcome a dear friend back home to uh, to New York, Miss Victoria Raul. Wow. Thank you for coming by tonight. Thank you so much. It is so good to intro. see you. So good to see you. Good to see you right back, and thanks for the flowers. You, did you like flowers? I, I wasn't too sure if you... There's nothing like the language of flowers, Lenny. It, they do speak volumes. They do. Just like the cover of this book <laughs> that she has out. <laughs> Fellas, the book is called The Young and the Ruthless, and... The epitome of sexy is all on that cover. What, what's up? Why, thank you. I mean, this is <laughs> when you do judge a book by its cover. So uh, I needed to lay it down, and uh, we, we we want people to, to, to re-engage with uh, the book series. The first one was Secrets of a Soap Opera Diva, mm -hmm. and uh, this is The Young and the Ruthless, Back in the Bubbles, uh, published by Simon & Schuster Atria. Well, you know what? Uh, kudos to you on this book. Thank you. This is book number three, though. It is. Uh, but second in the series of the soap opera world. That's right. So you're a woman who loves suds. Yeah, I do love the bubbles. You I like, do love you, the bubbles. And yeah. we're not talking about champagne here. We're talking about bubble baths, right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. we're talking about bubble baths. Uh, I've been known to get into a tub of jello with Christophe St. John and really? the Restless. It was very sticky, but really? it was fun. It was squish, squish fun. See, why couldn't I have been around? <laughs> why couldn't I have been pursuing acting at that stage of the game? I would have loved to just play. But see, I wouldn't get that opportunity, Chris. Well, you never say never because, you know, I've written the script. Oh, that is informed by the book series. So, you know, you could make a cameo. I you could, could make, make a, a sudsy good, bathtub cameo. I could definitely do that. I could light your candles. All right. I <laughs> will try to make that happen. <laughs> You've been on the soaps for a long time. Sure we have. have Victoria Raul with us tonight. Uh, but you have, is it safe and comfortably to say that you have retired? Oh, from, God, no. From, from, from soap, I'm getting started in another dimension, and that is to... Uh, not only write the stories in book form, but uh, have written the scripts as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next incarnation for me being in the soap opera business is to be an executive producer and uh, ownership. Um, so uh, we have a very good uh, pilot script, and uh, there's a wonderful percolating um, interest in producing it. That You know what? Who better than you who have <laughs> been really uh, entrenched into the soap opera world? Uh, so mm -hmm. strongly over the years. And, you know, I know the soap opera industry is challenging, is challenged right now because we have new soap operas and they're called reality shows. <laughs> they're called Desperate Housewives <laughs> and Housewives of Everywhere. Yes. Um, yeah, cer certainly. I mean, you know, soap operas were sort of the, the, the first reality TV. Yes. And yeah. uh, now we have the real thing. Uh, whether you think it's scripted or not, it's it's like the real deal. Exactly. So, um, but but there is an audience out there. Um, you know, Young and the Restless is uh, watched by over fifty percent African American and female mm -hmm. in the South, and that audience uh, wants to see more of themselves on camera. Hmm. Um, so, I would like to deliver that product. Well, you're doing a very good job in doing it in book form. Thank you. With this being the second series of a soap series uh, book. The Young and the Ruthless, um, and there's a character in this book. Mm -hmm. Now, I know this is a fictional book, but yes. sometimes when I sit down with writers as yourself, um, sometimes a little bit of fiction is a part of reality as well. I'm not going to delve that much into your oh, personal- Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the main character in your book is uh, Christilla- uh, Callista Jeffries. Callista Jeffries. Right. Now, I want to know from- how did this character come to form in your mind, in your spirit, and how did she, you know, become alive in this book? Well, first, I want to say her her authentic name, mm -hmm. her birth name is Beulah Espinetta Jones. Wow! 
Okay, and she lives with Grandma Jones on Money Road in Greenwood, Mississippi. Mm. And she really does not like her name. So when she gets off that Trailways bus in Hollywood, she immediately changes it to Callista Jeffries. Now, her stage name on the soap, mm-hmm. the fictitious soap, uh, is Ruby Stargazer. Oh. Let me just say it again because I can. Ruby Stargazer. <laughs> and, um, you know, she shows up and uh, she sees that there's some things going on the set that, that, that uh, seem a bit off, off kilter. Mm. So she goes toe to toe. Uh, here and there. Yeah, one would say that. So uh, she has, a, you know, some some challenges on set. And in this particular book, her daughter is invited to join the cast. Her her eighteen year old daughter, which is like a red flag for Callista. Mm. Um, uh, so there's but, some. But what inspired the character? That's oh, I what, would have to say my experience. I mean, it's personal. Art- it's artistic fiction. <laughs> I love the I love the words artistic. <laughs> Friction. Yeah. <laughs> friction, yeah. Friction. Well, I like that. <laughs> I like that artistic <laughs> friction. But it is artistic fiction. Um, I think that the best fiction is 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 peppered with experiences that you can draw from. Um, I've I've I'm a memoirist. I know what it is to write nonfiction. But fiction is so much fun because mm. you can just jump into the wide abyss yeah. and just go go go. The character. Callista Jeffries is an amalgamation of divas I knew from the ballet world. You know, I started out here in New York mm-hmm. with American Ballet Theater. Um, it's it's a, it's an amalgamation of, of me working in prime time in film. I mean, she, there's a lot in her, and I tell this story from an African American perspective of women of color in Hollywood in entertainment. And um, what seems so minute to someone else, like Callista wants a somebody to do her hair. Mm. She doesn't want to run to Inglewood. She's a diva. Well, she's not. She's not. But she wants She to... wants what everybody else has. So Is that a form of keeping up with the Joneses? Well, it really is about there's a lot of political moray in the book mm. because when she goes to work, she she begs the question, well, the the people I'm working with that don't look like me, they have hairstylists to do their hair. I'd like to get, you know, my hair pressed. You know, yeah, I might want to do an Afrocentric do. Who's here to do me? So this comes out in the book um, and more. It also talks about being um, an African-American in Hollywood, but you're taking care of family in Mississippi. And we know a lot of black and brown families are taking care of family somewhere else. While they may seem like they're at the top of their game, that paycheck is carved into 18,000 different pieces because you're taking care of you know, Mo, who just got a prison, you're taking care of mm. grandma, mm. you're taking care of, and so all that is expressed in the book as well. There's a lot of laugh, there's a lot of real, but there's a lot of, you know, um, statement in there in terms of who she is um, as a person. 